What's going on guys? AJ Good here at the House of Masks and today is Monday, which means of course Mailbox Monday. It's a nice rainy Monday out. I'm still a little bit sick, so please excuse my voice. But let's just hop right into it and we will start with the letters as always. Got one here from a Jesse Payaz and it's got some art on the front there. We have a note that says, Dear Maggot, I mean AJ Good, I have been a fan of your channel at least two years, and you're probably the coolest guy I hate. I don't really know what to say because I am a lame shithead. Unfortunately, I did not have any masks to send you. Can you send me some stickers? My address is on the envelope. Don't be lazy. I hate you. I also have a YouTube channel, Tech Cool Gaming, and an Instagram, JustDog915. Follow me or don't. I don't care. P.S. Sorry for the shitty handwriting. Till September I said hi and enjoy the artwork. And then he's got another clown drawing and another drawing of my masks. I would send you stickers, but I think you already bought some. Pretty sure I recall seeing your name on the outgoing mail. So thank you for the art and the letter, Jesse. This one just says fan mail from Robert in Boston. We've got me and Buckethead, and it says I hate AJ Good, let's make America hate again. And then AJ versus Facebook at the bottom. Hello AJ, I'm a huge fan of you and September's channel. I would like to thank you for the entertainment and I would also like to thank you for introducing me to Buckethead. My name on Instagram is Thrash Until You Crash, and my YouTube is Robert Gregorio, I think with a photo of Metallica. Open this for some fan art. Warning, these drawings are awful. These drawings aren't awful. I could tell what it was as soon as I opened it up. So thanks, man. I appreciate that. Okay, on to some bigger stuff. Now we have something from a Francisco Alvarez in a package. AJ, I hope you're doing good. I'm sending you a couple of my logo tees, one for you and one for September. <coughs> <coughs> Told you I'm sick. I'm the guy that sent you that weird clown fiberglass type mask that I found in Mexico City. I remember that one. If you like my t-shirts, let me know. I will have more designs soon. My Instagram is ctrockers and my website is cityrockersapparel.bigcartel.com. I also carry Trick or Treat Studios and other collectibles like action figures, pins, and more stuff coming soon. I went to the factory in Mexico where Tots makes our masks and I went through the process of making the masks and it was amazing. If you ever go to Mexico City, let me know. I can manage to get you in and take a Look. Take care, keep doing the Mailbox Monday videos, they're always fun to watch. P.S. Sorry for the four year old handwriting from Paco. Hell yeah, man, let's see what we got. We'll start with the pins here. Obviously, you'll see those better later. And we've got a black and a white shirt here. The black one looks like that, and the white one looks like that. And I have a feeling September is going to get the white one because I can't keep white shirts white. I just can't do it. Well, these are cool, man. Thank you very much. I will uh, show these to September as soon as I'm done filming. To the boxes. We have something from Germany. It doesn't say who it's from, though, so let's see. All right, we got a note right on the top that says read, so let's read it. Dear AJ, I have make this mask myself, as you can see. I know it looks like shit, and you can judge it how hard you want. I don't care. The mask name is Duck Pig, and look at the bottom of the box. There is a drawing. Bye. P.S. Can you send me some outdoor stickers? It would be awesome. My address is... I hate AJ Good. I am only 10 years old. So let's look at Duck Pig. And it's got a I hate AJ Good on the inside. Um, surprisingly, that is creepy. I know it's just duct tape um, that looks like a pig, but for some reason, it's scary. So let's see the drawing too. Here is the artwork. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Cool. Well, I appreciate it, man. Um, I will take very good care of Duck Pig, I swear. Okay, we have a box from an Adam Scarlet in Virginia. Let's see what's in here. It says, Hello, AJ. I immensely detest you. Never heard it put that way. This is a mask I'm working on for an entire character for a screenplay, The Hellstalker. I recently sold an order of 10 Hellstalker masks to Alan Hopp for him to take to Transworld. I love your channel, I watch every Mailbox Monday, and I've been waiting to send one in. And I apologize, this is pretty lengthy. A little history of how I came to name my page on Facebook, Behind the Mask Creations, and get into mask making. From an early age, there was something not quite normal about me. I suffered from daily hallucinations, visual and auditory, violent anger outbursts, hatred, and claustrophobia around people, even my own family. In the feeling, someone, something was controlling me. When I was six years old, I made a very simple mask out of paper plate and tinfoil, and I realized it helped me block out the negativity of my mind. As 
I got older, I tried to reach out to my peers with my struggles and always heard the same response. You just have an active imagination. As the years went on, the struggle got worse. I had dabbled with masks here and there, but it wasn't until I was 17, the voices and hallucinations got so chaotic that I felt death was the only relief. So I began to make plaster face masks, and with each construction of the mask and wearing that mask, I felt as if I was wearing an invisibility cloak hiding from the horror. At age 19, I began to get the first of many mental illness diagnoses. By 24, I had been deemed disabled from diagnoses such as schizoaffective disorder, intermittent explosive disorder, rage syndrome, paranoid delusions, DID, bipolar stage 2, sadomasochistic tendencies, and one doctor ruled me out as a psychopath. I started making masks, one, because it was very therapeutic, and two, I wish to make a living off of it, and I have an immense love for masks. I came up with behind the masks because when I put the mask on, I feel I am free. I, and I came up with behind the masks because when I put on that mask, I'm free. Free from judgment, free from fear, free from sadness, and free from criticism. So behind the masks, we can be whoever we want to be. Behind the masks, the world's not so scary, and people ask, why don't you make happy masks? I make scary masks so that maybe they'll scare what I'm afraid of. Instagram, at the Devil's Eyes 3178 Facebook, Adam Scarth, and Behind the Mask Creation. Woo! That's intense. Alright, let's pull this mask out and see what we got going on. This is the mask that he sent me. And if you didn't know already, I hate AJ Good. It is on the inside because why would you send me a mask and not put that on the inside? That's pretty cool, man. Definitely reminds me of Mick, obviously. Um, but it's quite different from Mick's mask, actually. And if making masks is your medicine, then by all means, keep making masks. Um, it's a good thing to hear. We are on to another box from Justin Williams. Ah, oh, I know what this is. This is a gift from Mr. Jed Gain on Instagram. This is out of an 86 Caesar. How cool is that? I saw him make something similar to this on Instagram, and I was like, man, that is fucking cool. So I hit him up, and I was asking how much he wanted to charge, and uh, he didn't end up charging me anything, which is pretty fucking awesome. So now I've got this cool-ass piece. Reminds me of Jim Root, obviously, because of the zipper. I just think it's cool. I love that zipper on the fucking 86. So thank you very much, Justin. This thing is fucking sick. I love it. All right, we have one more box left to go, and this is from a Jesse Pesos, AKA 133 Prosthetics. I believe that this is a bunch of like Mexican style candies. I think he saw the video where Kenny sent us some UK candies and wanted to send me some Mexican candies to try with September. Okay. Everybody apologizes for their handwriting, but look at that. It's not bad at all. Dear AJ Good, sorry for my terrible handwriting. I decided to send you some Mexican candy in this episode of Mailbox Monday. Most of these Mexican candy you will be receiving are the ones that I grew up with. I hope you, September, your nephew, and other people will like it. La Paleta de Peyoso, or the Clown Lollipop. One of them is for your nephew. I hope he likes it. Some of these Mexican candy are kind of spicy. One of them is sour. Lemonose. Lemonoezo. And also thank you for being one of my biggest inspirations for starting my Slipknot Mask collection. My collection wouldn't be the same without you. I hope I learned something new in the Masks and Jumpsuits group. Maybe next time I will send you something other than candy. P.S. I hate AJ Good from Jesse Pesos. My Insta is at 133Prosthetics. Hell yeah, man. These look cool. I can already tell that some of them look cool. Like these big clown lollipops. Those are pretty fucking sick. Um, so how about instead of me showing you everything that's in here, me and September film a completely different video with these and put it up sometime this week because there's a lot of stuff in here and it will be super fun. That's what we'll do. We'll make another video out of this. So thanks. Thanks, Jesse. You guys be on the lookout for a video of this candy. All right, that is gonna be it for this episode. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Thank you to everybody that sent something in. As always, it means the world to me and I promise to take care of all of it. If you would like to send something in, my address is always in the description below and it will always be in my Instagram bio. So you guys can check those out, send something cool in, 
and uh, maybe you'll see it on an episode of Mailbox Monday. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay everything out together, show you guys all the scores that I got, and maybe we will see you next week.